being the uh, promoter par excellence that he was, uh, he was looking for any opportunity to be able to promote the work. And um, in uh, 1922, in uh, June 1922, uh, he was invited by the mayor of Chicago, uh, William Hale Thompson, a very smart politician, uh, to come and broadcast uh, from a radio station that the mayor was sponsoring. Well, Rager was a very well-known person on the Chicago scene by this time. He had written a column in the Chicago Daily News, of course his work at uh, Moody Church. Uh, so he was uh, really a public figure in a lot of ways. So Rader was invited by the mayor of Chicago, William Hale Thompson, to come on down to their new radio station, WBU, which was on the roof of City Hall, this rough wooden shack that had been put together in the midst of the radio craze there in the early 20s, and Raider was invited to come do some services. And it was made out of, uh, you know, pin boards, and, uh, and they were brought to the roof of Chicago City Hall, and then the engineer said, okay, now what I want you to do is, is that um, there's a hole cut out in the side of this studio, and when I shove the phone, through that hole and I say play, you play. Well they gave Raider uh, sort of a makeshift microphone that they had constructed out of the handset of uh, one of the old telephones and a set of earphones and um, he had with him his brass quartet, a couple of uh, trumpets and uh, trombones. The clock uh, ticked down, it was time for the broadcast and the brass quartet was in this little pinboard studio on the roof of Chicago City Hall and the engineer shoves the phone through and says play and these guys said that they just sort of pointed their horns in the direction of the microphone and you know played as loud as they could <laughs> And Paul Rader comes to the mic and he brings a message. Rader gave a, you know, a rip-roaring sermon uh, by the looks of the, the picture that was published in the uh, uh, Chicago Daily News. One hundred thousand sinners within the sound of my voice today must be saved. The world is drifting. Crime rules and the temporal officials are blamed when religion and religion only, non-sectarian, unquibbling, undogmatic religion will bring the peace you pray for. All who hear me and wish to accept Christianity, come to the tabernacle, and I will pray with each individually. 